many that he received him today, he gave what? Anywhere you think you have failed in your life, that is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My earnest desire for this church is that nobody here will go to hell. Take your seat. Benefit of favor of God. I will be on the first lane. I want you to know that favor is a gift from God. Favor is what you have never deserved in life. What you are not entitled to. In education, you cannot have it. In beauty, you cannot have it. Socially, you are not entitled to it. Physically, you are not entitled to it. But God. But God in his infinite mercy, God in his infinite grace, gave it to you. And that's why they are celebrating you. Somebody like Esther, the queen, it is never recorded or it's never been heard that a slave girl will become a queen and not fun for that matter. To become a queen if not for favor. She found favor in the sight of King Hazarus. As I'm speaking to you, a lot of you will start finding favor. I speak to the foundation of hatred in your life. We crush the foundation of hatred. We replace it with favor. Anywhere you go, you shall be favored. In Nigeria, you'll be favored. Outside Nigeria, you'll be favored. In your school, you shall be favored. In your business, you'll be favored. In the place of work, you'll be favored. Anywhere you are and you are a human being, the favor of God will envelop you. The favor of God will kiss you. The favor of God will be your friend. The favor of God will be your neighbor. I say you are favored. I say you are favored. 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 So don't count yourself out. This is your season. I'm talking to somebody. This is your season. God have decided to change your condition. This is your season of remembrance. God has seen your suffering. He has seen everything Suddenly over the night, he swabbed his hands and he picked you from where you are and he set you on the pinnacle of glory and he announced to you, you are favored. And I am doing the announcement, you are favored. Is anybody hearing the sound of my voice? I said you are favored. You are favored. Your children are favored. Your life is favored. You are favored in the east, favored in the west, favored in the north, favored in the south, favored anywhere. Somebody shout, I am favored. Is anybody?
anybody that believes in favor? If you believe, shout, I am favored. Favor is something that nobody will ever believe you have it. Some of you, nobody ever believe you can build a house. And you have built a house. Nobody ever believe you can travel outside this country. If you have not traveled, you are about to travel. This time, Nigeria is looking up, saying no money. This is the best time God will favor you. Somebody, God is about to connect you to somebody. And that connection will take you to places. I want you to please help me smile on somebody and tell him, I am the most favored. Tell him, I don't know about you, but I'm favored. I'm favored. I'm favored. I'm favored. If you know you are favored, shout a louder amen. Amen. All right. Point one. Point one says, favor produces supernatural increase. What will favor do? When you are favored, it will produce what? Supernatural what? Increase. And also what? Promotion. Isaiah 54, 10. Let's just read that. Isaiah 54, 10. Isaiah 54, 10. Isaiah 54, 10. Isaiah 54, Verse 10. Isaiah 54, verse 10. Isaiah 54, verse 10. Yes. For the mountains shall depart. Yes. And the hills be removed. Mm -hmm. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord that had mercy on thee. Please stand up and let everybody read that. If you forget everything about this um, favor today, don't forget this. Let's read together. Go. For the mountain shall depart, the hills be removed. For my kindness shall not depart from thee. This is a promise God is making to us. And he doesn't lie. Does he lie? He said, even if the mountain shall depart and the hills be removed, my kindness shall not depart from you. Hear me this week. God will show you kindness. Every CPMite all over the world. We agree. We are standing for them. That wherever they are. They will find what? Kindness. Everybody shout. I will find kindness. Say this is my week. For God. To show me kindness. If you believe that. Shout a louder. Amen. And he says, you will have covenant of what? Peace. Covenant of what? Peace. That means you will have peace. Everybody is afraid. If you people don't know, you should know. The people at the top there, they are afraid. They don't know what next. But we have covenant of what? Peace. Do you understand? You have a covenant of kindness. Covenant of what? Peace. Covenant of mercy. If you read it there. There are three things God is promising us this week. Covenant of what? Kindness. Covenant of peace.
peace. Covenant of mercy. Can I hear you say thank you, Jesus? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say, I love you, Jesus. For what you have done for me. I receive the benefits of your favor in my life. In Jesus' name. If you believe that, shout a louder amen. amen. How many things? Can you name them? Say it again. No, covenant, don't just say mess, blah, blah. Covenant of We are going to say it again, please, darling. Say it better. Let's go. Say, I receive it. And it will work for me. It will work for me and my children. It will work for my household. I believe it. I receive it. And it's good for me. In Jesus' name. If you believe that, say louder, amen. amen. Covenant of? Yes. Covenant of? Yes. Covenant of? Yes. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seat. Then under that promotion, we have Favor will produce supernatural increase and promotion. You just put down Genesis 39. Genesis 39 under that. So that when you get home, you can look at it. Genesis 39, 21 to 23. Genesis 39, 21 to 23, which is that is favor produces supernatural increase and promotion. What do we call it? Favor produces what? And promotion. Then number two, favor produces restoration of everything the enemy has stolen from you. Favor produces restoration of everything that the enemy has stolen from you. When God grants you favor, everything that was taken away will start coming back. Can I hear you shout a louder amen? amen. Exodus 3.21 Exodus 3, 21. Number three. I'm on the speed lane. Bear with me. Number three. Number two. What did I call it? All right. Then that means you got it. Did you get it? Can I move? All right. Number three. Favor produces honor in the midst of your adversaries. Favor produces honor in the midst of your adversaries. Favor will lift you up before your adversaries, before your enemies, before those who does not believe you can you want to, that you want anything. When favor comes. He rewrites your story. He rewrites your history. He makes people that believe they are higher than you to bow before you. Do you understand? Exodus 11.3 Man of God, please, can you just read that for us? Exodus 11.3 Exodus 11.3 
3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of the people. Did you see that? God is about to give you favor in that office where they despise you. In their midst, <laughs> not at their back. Because he said he has set a table before you. Even in the presence of your enemies. He has anointed your head with oil. And your cup, what? Is running over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all. Not parts. Not one thought. All the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Somebody shall hallelujah. In their very midst, those that mock you, those that are scorning you, <laughs> they look at you, they shoot out their mouth before their very eyes. You shall be promoted. You shall be honored. You shall be glorified. You shall be magnified. You shall be exalted. Somebody say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before their very eyes. Let them just get ready. Because that temple is turning around. Something unusual is about to happen. Can I hear you shout it louder? Amen. Take your seat. Look at Isaiah 40, 49, 23. So that you understand what I'm saying. Isaiah 49, 23. Glory be to God. Talking about the benefits of favor of God. Isaiah 49, 23. And kings, kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Yes. And their queens, thy nursing mother. They shall bow down to the earth with their face towards the earth. And lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Did you see it? You will suck the breast of the kings, the queens, and they will bow before your feet. Their faces will bow. And they will know that he's your God. Because you've been waiting for him. You will not be put to shame. Can I hear you shout, I will not be put to shame. If you are that person, shout a louder, Amen. How many points have we made now? Three. We're going for the fourth one. It says, favor produces victories in battles that you don't fight. Because God will fight for you. God will produce favor for you. To produce what? Victories. The battles you don't fight, he will fight for you. Favor will fight for you. He will take over the battle, fight, and give you victory. You just cross your hands <laughs> and you say, eh, 
Now so God be. You mean you have fought this battle. You have given me victory. Those people that are fighting you from the village. Those people that are fighting you. They have taken your position. They know that this is your position. And they fought you. God will restore it back. I'm talking to somebody. You have pain in your heart. There's something you are looking for. And somebody has been sitting on it. We command that person to stand up. Whosoever that is sitting on your blessing, we command them to stand up. You're not saying amen. We are going to all stand up and command. If you don't want them to stand up, let them sit. That's your problem. Are you there? Thank you, darling. I know you are writing. I'll soon leave you finish writing. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever. That is sitting on my blessings. Whether I know them. Or I don't know them. Jesus Christ I command them stand up stand up stand up stand up stand up get out Jesus Jesus fight for me Jesus name I am a winner Go ahead proclaim I am a winner If you are a winner shout amen Take your seat Glory be to God Psalm 44 verse 3 Put it there Psalm 44, verse 3. That is God fighting your battles. What point? How many points now? Yes, the last one. That's not the last, but I'm cutting it off. Favor produces great victories. In the midst of great impossibilities. Favor. Produces great victories. In the midst of great impossibilities. Joshua 11.20. Joshua 11.20. Did you see? Did you hear me? You are still writing. Favor produces great victories in the midst of great impossibilities. There are things that seem impossible. You are here. I don't know you. You you might be here for the first time. There are things you've been looking for in your life. And it seems it is not possible. Favor is about to bring it. Favor will bring that thing. If you are that person, shout favor will bring it. Do you believe what we are saying? Let's look at that Joshua. Joshua. 11.20 Joshua Joshua 11 verse 20 Yes For it was of the Lord To harden their hearts That they should come against Israel In battle That he might destroy them utterly That they might have no favor But that he might destroy them As the Lord commanded Moses. Your enemies, because 
They think that thing is not possible. They will pursue you. And when they pursue you, God will bring them down. Do you understand? It seems impossible. They afflicted you with sickness, with disease. And they are waiting to see how you'll be delivered. But I speak to you. I speak to the sun. I speak to the moon. I speak to the wound. I speak to the moon. I speak to the heavenlies. I speak to beneath the earth. To release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to them in the name of Jesus Christ to release you. When I say release you, we say amen. Are you here? This service is meant for somebody. It's not for everybody. I stand this morning in this name, Jesus Christ. And I speak to the sun. I speak to the moon. I speak to the heavenlies. I speak to the earth. The earth beneath the earth. And everyone hearing the sound of my voice must have their own testimony. You are released in the name of Jesus Christ. You are released in the name of Jesus Christ. You are released in the name of Jesus Christ. You are released in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to please go to people and tell them I am released and I believe I'm released to be blessed. I am released to be blessed. I'm released to be great. I'm released to be favored. How many of you knows you are released? If you know you are released, shout another amen. amen. Another. Amen. Micah, take your seat. Micah 7, 17. Glory be to God. Did you see it? Did you see Micah? All right. If you don't see it, tell somebody to help you because some people are still struggling with their Bible. Uh, Mike, Micah is in the Old Testament, not new one. Have you seen it? If you have seen it, shout, I've seen it. Then please stand up with it. If you have not seen it, don't be ashamed. We are all learning. Nobody knows it all. Please, darling, I'm still waiting. If you have gotten it, stand up with it. If you have not, as you are sitting, touch somebody. Say, help me. Open them for me. I notice some people see, sit down. They turn the Bible. You don't see him. You see him, shout, I don't see him. You have sunned it. <laughs> Somebody say, I've sunned it. <laughs> I've sunned it. Hi, where you go? All right. Can we all read together? Go. (laughs) 
We are talking about the benefits of fear of God. These are one of those things that will happen this week. This week, not next week. How many of you believe that? This week. Come on, darling. This week. This week. From now. Can I hear you say from now? Man of God, please read for us. From now, from now. From now. Hallelujah. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God. And they shall fear because of thee. I want you to shout a louder amen. amen. This is what is going to happen now. Their holes we will send fire into their holes. Their hiding places we will kindle fire. They will come out. And when they come out we will destroy them. Are you there? This week has opened a new chapter. What you couldn't do so many years, you will start doing it now. Your amen is weak. They will lick us. When I say they will lick us, you will shout amen. Because of the favor of God over your life, they will lick us like serpent. Because of the favor God has given to you and your children, they will lick us like serpent. 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 If you believe that, shout a louder amen. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God. And they shall fear because of you. 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 Everybody shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. name. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. Another the highest. Glory be to God. I want you to imagine holes now. Holes. You know what is called hole? You see, a lot of them bite us and run inside the hole. So when you kindle the fire, they will appear. No. The viper clipped itself to, to Paul. Paul shook it. He said, idiot. Go inside the fire. Are you ready? Before we pray. Did you get what I said today? How many points did I make? Did you get it? All right. What is the topic? All right. Not everybody is saying no. Can I hear everybody speak? Benefits of, Benefits of fear of God. 
spirit of God's favor. Now put down your Bible. Are you still writing? Can I pray? Because we're, we're working with time. Thank you, darling. Then imagine a hole, a hole, a hole. Hole. You are going to face the hole and you rain fire inside the hole. And you tell them, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You no more hide. Come out. You call all your problems. They put inside that. We say, come out. You no more hide. You must die. Are you ready? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you host created by my enemies. Now, wherever you are, I come to you with the fire of God. You host Receive fire! Open! Receive fire! 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 Enter the house! Fire! 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 Go ahead! Pray! Are you there? They are serpents. They hide inside the hole. Pythons. Snakes. Dangerous pythons. Dangerous weapons. They hide. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, brother, wake up. Pray. There are things that are biting you. That sickness is not from God. That food you eat in the dream is not from God. Fight. I will no more eat in the dream. Some of you are not praying. You are looking around. 
You are not praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear you shout amen? Hear me. Hear me. I told you, or those of you who came late, I told you we had a urgent meeting last week. And there were things they told us. Some secret court members now come to church. Those who go to native doctors and in the church. And what do they do? When they enter, they neutralize the prayer of the people. They come, they stay in a place, you notice that people will not pray. Those who used to pray, they will just water them down. Once they come in there, they will stay. People around them will not pray. Because they are collecting blessings from them. Minus me. So if you are where you are and you can't flow, you leave the place. It's not by force. Because I noticed that some sections here, they don't pray. Some will be praying, some will not pray. If you find yourself in that place, get out. Because something is wrong there. I'm going to pray again. We are praying. If you cannot pray there, leave the arena. Go to someone, somewhere else. You don't know them. They, they are blood suckers. They are what? Blood suckers. Demonic people. They have been sent out from the coven of the witches and wizards. They send them out to harass the church. To harass the power in the church. So I beg you. I beg you. In case if you find yourself where you are, you cannot pray. Please leave the place. It's not by force. Say with me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, no power will stop me. I must pray in Jesus' name. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. Another, the highest. You see this area, um, please, Reverend George, Reverend Les, go to that area and lift up your hands. I don't know what is wrong there. This area, just lift up your hands. Father, we release Holy Ghost fire. You strange being. You will not worship with us. We come against you. As the men of God lift up their holy hands there. We come against you. We bind your activities. We neutralize your powers. You will not operate. You will not operate. You will not operate. You will not operate. In the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, that's not the place. Enter there. Where my hand is. Move this side. Look at my hand. Here. Where is Romeles? Here. See my hand. Where my hand is going. This. In the middle there. Go to the middle there. Their middle. Don't stand ahead. Enter their middle. Enter that middle where my hand is going. Not outside, inside. Reverend, you are standing outside. Go inside. Enter there. Aha. Uh -huh. Enter their middle. There. That, that's where it is. Let's go. Say, Father! In the name of Jesus Christ! strange being that has come to worship with us Holy Ghost fire yeah yeah fire yeah yeah fire yeah yeah 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Men of God, please come back. Anywhere you are, now lift up your hands. Lift your hands. The devil is a liar. <laughs> the devil is a liar. You are going to throw, when I say fire, you will throw it. You are going to, I'm going to come in seven. And when I come, you don't stay in one place and throw fire. You throw it agara agara. Because that hole must open. Yeah. You've suffered enough. That serpent must die. Yeah. You are not saying amen. Yeah. Do you know that our youth, they are now pushing them to court. Many of them are introduced to court. So when they come to church, they will not pray. They'll just be looking at you because of that thing. Not our own children. Are you ready? When I say one, you throw fire. You throw it this way. One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six, seven, fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, warriors. Warriors, go ahead. Go ahead, warriors. Come on, 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 come on. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Now put your hand on your stomach. Your stomach. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not be afflicted. We come upon my body. I curse you. You affliction. You that is registered in my life. Die! 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 Go ahead!
In Jesus name we pray. Can I hear you shout amen? You are welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God, which is life. And I know your life will never ever remain the same. After you must have had the word of God. Please make best use of the word. Don't let your life be the same again. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Today might be the only day you have. I call you to give your life to Jesus. And if you are sick, you are healed. We'll see you next week. Bye. and so on at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters 10 and 12 Matik Salami Street at Jawa Estate along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos Please outrage reaching out to the troubled souls don't miss it CPR Jesus Christ is Lord God has a plan for you a plan to give you a bright future Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Isakel, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Isakel, co pastor, national and international coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. At Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs>